Hello, I'm Mathieu from Ludovox, and today I'm going to give you an overview of Bunny Kingdom. So, Bunny Kingdom is a drafting game, and it's also an area control game for two to four players, ages 12 and up, and it plays for around 45 minutes. So, in this game, um, you're going to try to put bunnies on the board, and you're going to do that because you want the best uh, kingdom. Uh, basically, you want to control areas that have towers, so um, cities and palaces, but also different resources, because they uh, enable you to score points. At the end of each of the four rounds of the game, you're going to score points for each of your areas that you control by multiplying the number of towers in this area by the number of different resources that you have. So for example, let me, let me take an example. In this case, I have one big area here, and I would produce carrots and fish. And the duplicates of carrots don't count. Uh, I just count carrots and fish, so that's two resources, two different resources. Then I have only one tower. So I multiply both scores, and that makes up two victory points. Let's imagine now that I had this castle here in my area. It has three towers, so that's a total of four towers. So four times two, it makes eight points. So that's kind of more valuable, and that's the way you want to develop your kingdom into. So the way the game plays is very simple. You're going to have four drafting phases. So you're going to draw a hand of cards, select two cards from your hand, and then pass the rest to the other players. And everyone is going to do the same simultaneously. Then after that, you're going to resolve and to build the cards that you've chosen and then continue drafting until the end of the hand. So the way you build things is very simple. If you have a set of coordinates, like on this card, I have B4, that tells me I have to put a bunny on B4, very simply. So plainly, I'm just going to take a bunny of my color, place it on B4, it expands my kingdom and my area. The other things that you could have are black resources, like, like so. So some, resource, some resources are already produced by the board, and some of them are not. And this spice here has to be added to uh, a place, to actually a carrot field. So if I have a carrot field, I play this card, I'm going to take the token and find a, a carrot field that I want to improve, and then I'm going to place the carrot field uh, the spice field onto the carrot field. So this field now produces carrots and spice. So for this area, it would be three resources times four. That makes up 12 points. That's far better. So that's another way to play cards and to improve your kingdom. Other things could include uh, building cities, like uh, so palaces on, on terrain or other cities with more towers. So this enables you to get more points with the scoring, but you could also have parchment cards. So the parchment cards are played face down and they stay with you until the end of the game. And they give you victory points according to certain strategies, mostly, because sometimes it's flat victory points, but most of the time they uh, give you points according to a certain set of rules. So for example, the Carrot King here, would give you 15 points if you manage to produce five carrots at the end of the game. Or the uh, the border guard would give you one point, one victory point for every single bunny that you have on the borders of the kingdom. So that's the way you could score extra points, but these cards are very numerous. If you take too many of them, you end up not placing enough bunnies on the board and you lose influence on the board. So you have to uh, think about what to do and in what proportion. So at the end of each round, you're going to score points for every one of your areas and you play four rounds of this, so four drafting rounds. And then it's the end of the game. You reveal your parchment cards, you score additional points thanks to them, and then the highest total of victory points wins. That's it for the basics of Burning Kingdom. As you can see, it's an area control game, but you have to manage um, how greedy you are with the parchments. So now you know almost everything about Burning Kingdom, so bye-bye and see you under the box.